Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Simon Gabadia. Simon Porsche's, Porsche's boyfriend. Why does he have us looking at this post, people? And welcome to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do commentary on celebrities. We try to make it make sense. If y'all haven't been to my other channel, Please go over there, subscribe, like, and share my videos. But we're on Deb Snell's 48th World tonight. And we're trying to figure out why Simon is over there smoking cigars or posting his, his healthy health record. Make it make sense. I, I can't make any sense of this. You know, I'm like... Why aren't we seeing your real face? Why are we seeing something that is definitely face tuned? What is Portia scared of? I mean, if Fallon took Simon for all it was worth, good or bad, rich or poor, looks, not good looks, why can't Portia do the same thing? Portia, why can't you do the same thing? Why is it that we see Simon all the time on Facetunes? You're never giving us the true look of your man, girl. Your man that you say you love and he love you. That y'all still haven't gotten married. I pretty much put it out the pasture. If y'all don't get married in September of this year, you should put it out of pasture as well. Because you're not only his maid, his dresser, his finance person, his go-to person to put his Instagram messages up because he sure damn can't do them. But yeah, he's 208 pounds, skeleton weight is 93, and total body fat is 21. Okay, understood, got it, good. However, Simon, what do, and why is Miss Diane up under his comments all the time. Where's Larry? I hadn't asked for about Larry in a, uh, in a good minute. Because they were doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Diane was going to events still with Portia. But she wasn't taking a picture by Simon. Which, you know, I'm glad she listened to the channel. Because the optics are not looking good when she does that. When she's hooked up on her daughter's fiance. Glorified boyfriend over here. So... She took that in stride. She learned from her lesson. And she's not by him. She's taking pictures by her daughter. And her daughter is by her man. And that's where it should go in that order. However. I really don't understand. Why Diane even. Like messages. It just looks odd. <coughs> Look very odd. Now. Because I don't see you over there liking Genesis comments. I mean, that's still your daughter's baby daddy. But you don't go over there and like none of his posts. What's up with that? Diane, Portia's mom. You can't dislike Dennis because he's a great dad. If he's not, prove it. Show and prove. Let us know. Put the evidence out there. But Simon, I'm just here to tell you, son... You do not need to be smoking the way you smoke it. I'm pretty thinking you probably you probably smoke seven cigars a day, don't you, Simon? And do you know what that is doing to your heart inside? 
Stop, please. You want us to believe one thing over another, but yet you do crazy shit like this. Like, okay, what is your, uh, what is your circumference? Okay, what, what's around your belly? Did you do a measuring tape on that one? How do we really know these stats are real fine? Because I'm sure with the Heart Association, they would be looking very negative at you. They would be frowning upon you for you to try to keep in shape with your food intake, your exercise intake, and your drinking intake. But you're smoking a damn cigar at least seven times. Now, we don't know what's going to kill us, what's going to take us out of the world. We really don't know. But we have seen a heart of a healthy heart in, in your body. And we've seen one <clears throat> that has a pulmonary disease or a hardened heart that's almost black looking. See what I'm saying? It's like something that got burnt up. That's probably what your heart is starting to look like. If you could only get a trajectory of your heart inside your body. The colorization, that should scare you enough to get off of these cigars. But it seems like you got bad nerves, is what I'm thinking. You got bad nerves, and <coughs> you just like what you like. You like that brown liquor that's going to shrew up your liver. And then you're smoking these cigars that ain't got nothing but nicotine in it. And nicotine is dangerous. It really is, Simon. So again, what are you doing? But I think you got a nerve problem. Because you're out there smoking, smoking, smoking. I mean, have you ever thought about getting a patch or something? To ease you up on some of that cigar smoking? Because you don't know. You're putting Portia, PJ, and any other loving people that you call yourself love, that you blessed to have and be around, the family that you made for yourself. What you think going to do to them if you die tomorrow or next week or a year from now and the cause was smoking? Is that really fair for your biological children to lose you and it could have been preventable? The nicotine is not your friend. The nicotine is not your friend, Simon. So I'm, I'm going to have to you know, tell you to pull up if you want to be around, if you want to enjoy your breathing, where you're not short of breath, you're going to have to take it in stride. You're going to have to take it in stride, brother, and get off the nicotine. It's a silent killer, just like having a heart attack. It's a silent killer, Simon. So if you want to be around, for your family, your friends, your constituents. If you like living on this plane of existence with the rest of us, why don't you put the cigarettes down? Well, pretty much count, you know, if you, you drink, I mean, if you smoke seven a day, try four a day. Okay? Morning, noon, night, and then before you go to bed. But most people that I know that smoke or drink, they have nerve problems. Could that be you, Simon? Could that be you? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. That's all I got in this video, guys. Like and love, you gotta have more. Tune in. Get the notifications. Subscribe to the channel. And share my videos. And definitely like them, of course. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.